Hello there, we're going to do a little bit of uh, generating a stroke to create a little walking tour of London map. Uh, really easy tutorial. We've got our map here. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to layer. Oops, just click on here. Layer, new. I'm going to create an adjustment layer. I could do a solid as well, but I'd have to turn this on and off to see what I was doing. So adjustment layer is nice and easy. Then I'm just going to go to my pen tool. So it, it is here, already selected. And let's start with the Peter Pan statue here. Let's go down Park Lane. There we go. Let's do a little curve there. Maybe up to Piccadilly Circus. Ooh, keep that nice and straight. There we go. Just doing adjusting a few things. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go Shaftesbury Avenue here. Let's go around High Holborn. Just uh, let's go to um, St Paul's. So that's our little walking tour map. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to type type stroke in here, stroke, and there we go, generate stroke, pop it on our adjustment layer, and you can see there we've got this little white line, the stroke comes in quite thin, so let's size that up a little, and um, we could maybe even change, change the colour, so the red, how about a nice blue, oh that's quite nice, nice, there we go, I like that, a nice blue colour. So this is our little map. Um, we could always adjust some of these if we want to make it a bit But uh, just for the tutorial doesn't really matter There we go something like that. So that's our little little map there And of course what we want to do is we don't want this just to be static We want to animate this to show you our route. So let's uh, Let's just go to the end here and set a keyframe for the end of the stroke. So, and then go back to the start and change the keyframe to 0%. So now, when we click on this, we have our stroke coming in. There we go. Okay, so I'll just hit you there to see those keyframes. Uh, now, supposing I want to add to this uh, a little, little marker at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click, make sure no layers are selected. Then when I click on this, I, I get a shape layer. So let's have a little, let's change the fill to maybe a nice light blue, a little stroke around it. And just hold the shift key down. I'm just going to draw a little circle there. A little circle. There we go. And what I also want to do is make sure the anchor point is in the center of this circle. So with that selected, I'm just going to go to layer, transform, center anchor point in layer content. There we go. There's our anchor point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on this layer, press M for mask. I'm going to go to mask path. I'm going to copy that path and just go to the start of the composition. Click on this layer here, the shape, and on the transform, I'm going to click on transform, on the position, so I could just hit P, position, I'm going to paste. So what that's doing is it's pasting the path of the mask to the position of our little circle. So there you go. So now you can see what it's done is it's pasted it way too fast. So if I just hit the U key, there you can see that's where my animation ends for the actual stroke and by default it's made this animation two seconds long so what I can just do is stretch these keyframes out and they are what I call rover cross time keyframes so they keep the relative and now we've got a little little shape there there we go Whee. Nice and simple. Okay, that's the tutorial. Thank you for watching.